Welcome to National Board of Accreditation Self-Assessment Report Format for Undergraduate Engineering Programs under Tier 1 Institutions with July 2024 document. So in our earlier videos, we covered Criterion 1 to 6. In this video, we will see Criterion 7 Facilities and Technical Support. You can recall once the other six criteria what we covered in our earlier videos criteria one outcome based curriculum 120 weightage criterion two outcome based teaching learning 120 weightage outcome based assessment weightage 120 students performance weightage 120 faculty information weightage 100 faculty contributions weightage 120 now the seventh criteria facilities and technical support weightage 100 Further, the remaining criteria are criteria 8, continuous improvement, uh, weightage is 80. So, 1 to 8 are at program level criteria. Then, institution level, we are having one more criteria that is criteria 9, student support and governance 120. Total weightage across all the 9 criteria is 1000. In our upcoming videos, we will see criteria 8 and criteria 9 also. Now, let us see criteria 7, facilities and technical support. In criterion 7, facilities and technical support again divided into the following five sub criteria. The first sub criteria 7.1 adequate and well equipped laboratories and technical manpower, weightage is 40. Then 7.2 additional facilities created for improving the quality of learning experience in laboratories, 20 weightage. Then 7.3 Maintenance of laboratories and overall ambience weightage is 10. Then 7.4, safety measures in laboratories weightage is 10. Then 7.5, project laboratory, research laboratory, center of excellence. So individually or combination of any of these total weightage is 20. Then total uh, marks in criterion 7 is 100. Now let us see all this. Uh, in detail as per SAR format. Okay, first 7.1 adequate and well equipped laboratories and technical manpower. Total weightage is 40. Here, what you have to do in the given below table format, we have to provide details of various labs for the program and at the department level. Also, we have to provide list of technical supporting staff appointed by the college for the department and their qualifications. Here, uh, do not give duplicate data from uh, 7.2 and 7.5. So 7.2, uh, that is uh, additional facility, 7.5 uh, project lab, uh, research lab, etc. So you have to avoid those. So the following table 7.1.1, you have to list the laboratories along with technical manpower. So here, name of the laboratory, number of students, per setup, uh, that means batch size you have to mention, name of the major equipment in that particular lab, then weekly utilization status. So all the courses for which the lab is utilized as per your timetable occupancy. Then technical man support, you have to provide name of the technical step, uh, their designation and their qualification. So at your department level, program level, whatever the laboratories, all labs you have to list in this table, uh, excluding that uh, 7.2 and 7.5 labs. So here you have to provide ba batch wise uh, size, number of students per batch, the name of the major equipment, uh, weekly utilization as per the courses uh, uh, running in that particular lab, then technical manpower name and their designation and qualifications. Then 7.2, Additional facility created for improving the quality of learning experience in laboratories, 20 is the weightage. So here, provide details of various additional facilities provided by the department to enhance the quality of learning in laboratories. Here, do not give duplicate data from the section 7.1. 7.1 means this one. Here, uh, whatever uh, included in 7.1, don't include in 7.2. Then uh, similarly 7.5 also, what is 7.5? Project lab, research lab, center of excellence. So uh, 7.1 and 7.5 uh, can't be repeated in 7.2. Whereas in 7.1, 7.2 and 7.5 can't be repeated. 
okay you have to provide uh, the list of personnel facilities in the following table format the name of the facility details purpose of creating facility utilization relevance to program outcomes and program specific outcomes for example in our uh, uh, regular laboratory whatever the equipment you are having that is uh, are related to that particular uh, prescribed experiment suppose you are having uh, additional equipment uh, or extra equipment uh, which is used to carry out uh, additional experiments that means experiments beyond syllabus so that we have to include here name of the additional facility uh, even uh, uh, suppose nptel facility also you have to provide if there is provision of accessing in our lab then uh, internet facility like if you are having uh, uh, extra software for example matlab which is not in the curriculum uh, but uh, MATLAB is installed in all the systems, let us assume, that is uh, used for uh, uh, to carry out uh, research work or project work by the faculty and by the UCNPD students, uh, like that. So like that, you have to uh, provide inertia to regular uh, lab experiments, whichever the additional equipment or additional softwares you are having. So that facility you have to provide uh, along with the details, then purpose of creating that facility, then utilization for whom, how many hours in a week, then that facility uh, related to uh, which program outcome and which program specific outcome that you have to provide. Then 7.3, maintenance of laboratories and overall ambience, total weightage is 10. Here you have to provide details of overall laboratories, maintenance and overall ambience in the department. Here you have to provide the right up. So, uh, how uh, the lab looks like uh, the cleanliness, then uh, uh, neatness, then uh, display. So by displaying uh, equipment uh, labels, uh, name boards, then uh, uh, dis display the configuration boards, so etc. Then the overall ambience. So you have to provide right up followed by some sample photographs so for each and every lab, so which carries 10 marks. Then 7.4, safety measures in laboratories 10 marks are there. Here you have to provide various safety measures deployed in each lab within the department. So, if, for example, some uh, circuit related, non-circuit related, so some uh, safety precautions, do's, don'ts, fire extinguishers, then uh, first aid kits, so etc. Uh, needs to be included in each and every lab. If you can see in the computer laboratory, uh, the general instructions uh, uh, while operating with the computers, then uh, server connectivity, internet connectivity, uh, etc. So, like uh, precautions and general uh, guidelines need to be followed by the students. You have to mention. So, in the following table, you have to mention uh, name of the lab, lab wise safety measures. So that depends on if it is chemical uh, related laboratory, some precautions are there, some electrical, triple E, mechanical, uh, EC related, uh, some precautions are there, computer laboratory, some general precautions are there. So like that lab wise, we have to uh, mention uh, the safety measures, so which carries 10 marks. Then uh, 7.5 or uh, project laboratory or uh, research laboratory or center of excellence. If you are having all three, you have to include or anyone, whichever you are having. Total weightage is 20. So here you have to provide details of laboratories for supporting projects, research, center of excellence, innovation and startups, etc. Here, uh, do not give duplicate data from section 7.1, adequate uh, uh, labs and uh, technical manpower. Then 7.2, additional facility created. Uh, so these two you have to exclude in this. So now a uh, name of the, just you have to mention a name of the laboratory. This is the predefined table. Just you have to mention the name of the laboratories uh, which support for uh, project, research, center of excellence, innovation, startups etc inertia to 7.1 and 7.2 so that is a project lab or research lab or center of excellence total uh, 20 marks are there okay uh, that's all about uh, criteria 7 uh, facilities and uh, technical uh, support this is official website of nba or uh, nbaind.org so from this website under accreditation documents here you will find uh, the pre-qualifier, self-assessment report, evaluation report, and evaluation guidelines for Tier 1. In our upcoming videos, we will see Criterion 8, Continuous Improvement. Stay tuned for 
the latest updates.